A Leeds law student who died after four remote GP consultations was likely to have lived if he'd been given a face-to-face -face appointment sooner. An inquest heard the failure to see David Nash in person during lockdown was a missed opportunity. Despite repeated calls to the NHS 111 and his local surgery, he died shortly after being admitted to hospital. His parents said they don't want anyone to go through the anguish they've suffered. As Phil Bodmer reports. Wise, loving and funny. A coroner's description of David Nash. The 26-year-old died in November 2020 after developing mastoiditis in his ear, causing an abscess on the brain. An inquest in Wakefield this week heard he made a number of calls to a Leeds GP practice and NHS 111 over a period of just 19 days. got pain behind both eyes, my sinuses, my back and my neck, and I've got temperature as well. Sinuses? Uh, yeah. Sinuses in the back of the neck, so like the cheek area. His first phone call to Burley Park Medical Centre was on October the 14th. He rang again on the 23rd and 28th, complaining of neck pain, headaches and fever. His final call was with an advanced nurse practitioner on November the 2nd. It's this fourth call which the coroner said should have resulted in an urgent face-to-face -face consultation. That same day as his condition deteriorated, David made five calls to NHS 111 and was finally taken to hospital by ambulance. He died two days later. In reaching a narrative conclusion, the assistant coroner, Abigail Coombs, told the inquest, on the 2nd of November 2020, there was a missed opportunity to direct David to seek face-to-face -face care during his GP appointment. She went on to say, had he been directed by the GP practice, it's more likely than not he would have undergone neurosurgery approximately 10 hours earlier than he did which at the time, she said, it's more likely than not, would have been successful. He was our wonderful son, brother and friend. He had a strong sense of right and wrong and always looked out for others. We in turn have spent two years seeking answers on his behalf and to make sure that others don't die as David did. We know that is what he would have wanted. David's parents, Andrew and Anne, said they were both saddened and vindicated by the findings. The inquest gives a sense of closure, but the apology from the medical centre that treated David uh, only came through yesterday, uh, and that was an apology we've been seeking for, for a, a longer period. Like Andrew, I wish the apology from the practice had been slightly earlier, but we certainly always realised, I think in our heart of hearts, that he should have been seen that day. It's been a long struggle, and I think our grief is always going to be with us. We always will have grief and carry that with us because that's part of David. The coroner praised the family's dignity shown during the inquest, saying she hoped they'd found some of the answers to the questions they'd asked. Phil Bodmer, BBC Look North, Wakefield.